What's up everybody, Justice Good here, and today I want to explain a Photoshop feature that you probably weren't aware of, and if you were, you probably never used it much. This is the Variations Adjustment, and the only way to get to this is to go to Image Adjustments Variations, and you have to be on your photo layer. Uh, you can't create a new adjustment layer with this, I don't know why, so you have to apply it right to your layer and once we click on it you see that it's a pretty big menu so let me explain what's here you have your original photo side by side with your current pick and you have the choice to adjust the shadows midtones highlights and saturation so right now we're on midtones and we have a choice to make it more green more yellow more red and so on and we also can make the midtones lighter or darker we also have the fine to coarse slider. The more fine you make the selection, the less it's going to allow the color to affect the midtones. And the more coarse it is, the more the color is going to affect the midtones. So we're going to leave it at the third notch. And let's select a darker midtones. As you can see, it shows side by side with the original. And let's select more magenta. Now we can also adjust the highlights and the shadows so let's select highlights. Now you see these green and blue colored in areas that just shows you what is being affected. That is the clipping. So if you want to see the more fine we make it and the more coarse we make it it's not actually going to turn out with those blocky colors it's sort of like a guide to let you see what's being affected so let's make the highlights a little more yellow and you can click on these adjustments as many times as you want but don't go overboard with it now you can also adjust the saturation and other things but I think Photoshop has better ways of doing that so I'm just gonna leave them alone and if you want you can save this preset so that you can load it and use it on, on other images of yours so here we've created a more purple and yellow look. But let's say we didn't want that. All you have to do is double click on the original and you can start over and select from your grid again. The variations tool is a great way to see the different paths that you can take your image and go through them step by step without having to do too much fine tuning and adding several adjustment layers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.